everybody, welcome back to Sew Me Sunshine HQ. We've got the lovely Lisa and Celia packing all your orders today, so you might hear them in the background. Thank you once again for all your orders, it means the world to me and the rest of the team. Today's video is all about viscose. So if you've watched some of my videos before, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of viscose. I think it's a really versatile substrate and I really enjoy sewing with it myself. So just to remind everybody, viscose is obviously a type of fabric and it's neither seen as a synthetic fibre or a natural fibre. It's something in between because it is a regenerated cellulose fibre which is normally derived from wood pulp and it, which has been chemically treated to make viscose and also a lot of water is needed to make viscose as well. There is also different types of viscose depending on how it's been woven. So that's what we're gonna go through today because of the way that different viscose is woven, you can either have a knit viscose fabric or a woven viscose fabric. And then even with a woven viscose fabric, they also vary greatly because of the different ways that they've been woven. So that will make the fabric vary in weight and in opacity and also just how you can use it in your dressmaking. But yeah, as I said, it's one of my favorite fabrics to sew with. I feel like it's really, really versatile and I'll show you what we've got in the shop. So this is the first fabric I'm gonna show you. This is one of our new viscose fabrics from Cloud9. They're really, really beautiful. So this is what we'd call like a plain weave. So it's got a lovely soft silk-like texture to it. As I've said previously, it's got a lo really lovely drape viscose. So that's why it's one of my favorite type of fabrics to work with. And this one's completely opaque. So the reason we pulled this one off the shelf is because it is listed as being a rayon. And lots of people get confused between viscose and rayon, but actually it's the same fabric. It's just some people call it viscose and some people call it rayon. And as I said, this has been woven in a way that makes it really nice and soft texture. It's nice and smooth against the skin. And a fabric like this that is obviously op completely opaque so you wouldn't need to line it and has a really nice drape and movement and it's what I'd call like a medium weight so it's not really lightweight but it's not heavyweight either. So something a dress would be perfect in this especially with the way the pattern is on the fabric and we thought the Megan Nilsson Sudley dress this one would work really really well with this type of fabric. So a dress that is either fitted or loose fitted would work really well with this type of viscose. This is one of our fabrics from Lady McElroy. We've stocked a few times, seen some amazing makes on Instagram in this. It's just really absolutely stunning print. So this is slightly more light in weight than the one I've just shown you, but it's known as a viscose lawn. So what we, why it's called a viscose lawn, so it's obviously a viscose, so like all of the fabrics we're gonna show you have viscose in them. But the reason it's called a lawn is again, how it's been woven. So it's got a, what you call a flat weave, it's nice and soft, and the lawn comes from the fact that it almost has a feel and a texture to what you'd expect from a cotton lawn. But compared to a cotton lawn, you get the lovely drape and movement. So with, cotton, with viscose lawns, they do vary um, slightly in weight and also in how see-through they are. This one, you wouldn't have to line and it's like a light to medium weight. So it's perfect for, again, making a dress or a blouse. The, thing, the pattern we've paired with it today for you guys to give you some inspiration is the Nina Lee Park Lane dress. Or if you didn't want to do the dress, you could also do the blouse version and it would look really gorgeous in this fabric. The next fabric I wanted to show you is a Visco Chalice. So this one again is from Lady McElroy. It's one of our favorites. We love the big daisy print and the emerald green background. So with a Visco Chalice, it is known for being very lightweight so it's something to bear in mind with the type of project you're going to choose because 
with it being more lightweight it's more likely to be slightly see-through it's also a very delicate fabric so it's important to use something a needle such as the microtex needle when you're sewing with it and like i said yeah very very delicate very lightweight and has a very beautiful fluid drape very floaty so this type of fabric i think is best suited more to a blouse you could make a dress but you would most likely have to line it so a blouse such as the sequence blouse by paper cut patterns which is a favorite here at sony sunshine would work wonders in a viscose chalice obviously it's also called a rayon chalice and it is really lovely and soft to touch and it's got a plain weave so no texture just nice and soft against the skin the next type of viscose fabric i wanted to show you was this viscose dobby so again it's just the way it's been woven so it's a viscose fabric and then what you can see is that the way it's been woven it's got this slightly raised dobby effect so it's similar to what you find with um, a cotton dobby this is slightly flatter than what you find with a cotton dobby but it does give it a nice texture to it you also might see me listing some fabrics as viscose shackards and that again is just where the design on the viscose itself is actually being woven into the fabric not printed which results in a slightly raised texture to it which you can fill normally on the reverse it's still nice and soft and the raised texture is normally on the right side so this is one of our fabrics from Atelier Brunette we and they do do quite a few different fabrics with which are made from viscose with different um, types of weaving involved and we've got a few of their viscose dobbies in stock so these are nice and lightweight fabrics again lovely drape which is classic with a viscose they do vary in how transparent they are so it's something to bear in mind they are also very delicate fabrics so again a microtex needle would be beneficial and i think they're best suited to a blouse and one of the blouses i've seen made up in this fabric before is the avid seamstress the blouse which we've just restocked um, it's a lovely classic blouse and it would work really well with this type of viscose the next type of viscose fabric i want to show you today was a viscose crepe so you'll see quite a few of our fabrics listed as a viscose crepe and what that means is the fact that it's obviously made from viscose but the way it's been woven it's been woven more tightly which gives it this crepe like texture so it's got a classic crepe like texture so it's a little bit more rough it's not as smooth as what you'd find with a viscose chalice they are more likely to be opaque but obviously sometimes you still find some some that are slightly sheer so it's bear in mind to always look at the listing they are still nice and lightweight heavier than a viscose chalice but not as heavy as what you'll find with a viscose twill so they still have a lovely drape and movement so they're really good again for dresses blouses or you could even make some kind of wide leg trousers with it as well it's not as delicate or fine as a visco chalice either this is one of the new fabrics from fabric godmother we love it in the studio just love the bright colors against the dark background and we thought it'd work really well with the deer and doe myosis so again we've just restocked these these have been out of stock for a while it's one of our favorite dress patterns here at sony sunshine and we just think this fabric would work perfectly with it this is one of our dead stock viscose fabrics so we get quite a lot of viscose fabrics that are dead stock so just to remind you dead stock fabrics means that they are well when they're from italy which is where i normally source the dead stock fabrics from they're leftover fabrics from high-end x designer collections i'm not always i don't always know where they're from sometimes i do sometimes i don't um but for legal reasons i can't say exactly where they're from but they're really good quality fabrics and one of the most common viscose fabrics that i managed to source are viscose satins so with a viscose satin it almost has 
the feel and texture of a silk so it's really really luxurious feel to it and it still has a really good drape and movement with a visco satin they're most likely opaque so you don't have to line them they're medium weight and they've got this silk like lustre texture because of the way they've been woven with a satin weave they're 100 percent viscose and they work really well for dresses blouses or something like this again you could make wide leg um, trousers with because of their really silky like texture they can be a bit slippery so it's best to obviously take your time when you're sewing with them so the pattern we thought would work really well with this and it's making me want to sew it is the Nina Lee Bakerloo dress or the blouse either version would work really well with this type of fabric and it would be really lovely to wear due to the lovely silk like texture the next type of viscose fabric we're going to talk about today is a viscose twill so you might have heard me talk about viscose twills in the past because I really like to sew with them and wear them and that's because they are slight they're more they're not heavyweight and um, they're more of a medium weight but they're easier to work with than like a viscose chalice because they're not as slippery normally we've got quite a few viscose twills that we always have in stock or at least try and keep in stock this is one of our dead stock viscose twills so the twill refers to how it's been woven so you'll see that it's got a very subtle diagonal lines with how it's been woven and those are what makes it a viscose twill so like I said it's normally less slippy it's normally opaque and it's normally more of a medium weight type fabric it still has a really good drape to it and it's still quite soft despite the um, twill weave and on top of that as well it's less likely to crease compared to like what you'd find with a visco chalice so that's a big plus for me because I'm not a massive fan of ironing um, it's again very versatile fabric um, I tend to make either dresses or again you can make trousers with viscose twill and we today picked out the named Rita shirt dress we thought it would work really wonderful in this fabric um, Celia in the office is in the middle of making herself a jumpsuit with this fabric so hopefully you'll be able to see that soon once she finishes her project so i also wanted to talk to you about eco vero viscose so eco vero viscose is the same as what you find with tensile so it's a trademark name so that's why in our listings you'll see the fact that it will say the name of the fabric and then it will say viscose containing eco vero fibers and that is purely because of it being trademarked and it's trademarked by the same company that trademarks tensile so for a fabric to be have to be certified to be eco vero they've got to show that they follow the principles that what the factory follows the principles to make it so in a nutshell it's seen as a more sustainable viscose fiber because it is made from renewable wood sources and it's produced in a more sustainable way so it's like how they use the water and what chemicals are used to make the fabric is more environmentally friendly so it's a really good viscose option if you're really keen to think about see the environment it does it is normally more expensive because of the trademark and the, how it is produced so there's some brands that we stock in here that nor have started to use more and more eco vero viscose fibers so you've got mind the maker and atelier brunette have just started to use eco vero viscose fibers so they're the two brands you'll see it mostly with and then occasionally we get other viscoses that also um, have that fiber in them so this is one of the mind the maker fabrics what's lovely about these ones as well is that it's actually yarn dyed so it's the color isn't actually printed the background color isn't printed on it's the viscose fibers have been 
dyed so it's the same on the reverse as it is on the right side and then it's got this gorgeous big polka dot pattern so with like all viscoses it depends on what type of viscose it is so this is what i'd call like a medium weight just standard viscose it's got a flat weave um, and obviously it's been yarn dyed but it's been the viscose fibers used are this eco vero viscose so this type of fabric because it's a little bit more heavyweight and because of the the size of the pattern we thought it would work really well with the i am irma shirt so it's like a long shirt it would really show off the pattern and be versatile throughout the seasons as well so as well as having woven viscose fabrics you also get knit viscose fabrics and as i've just talked about eco vero viscose i thought i'd pull out one of our knit fabrics that are made with eco vero viscose so again it's the viscose that is being used in this is trademark the eco vero so it's seen as a more sustainable viscose fiber and then the way it's been woven it's been woven into a knitted fabric it's lovely and soft and got a lovely drape actually to it which is again because viscose is seen as a very drapey fabric most of the fabrics you will find that contain viscose have a nice drape and movement so with this type of fa knit fabric you could make yourself like a slouchy cardigan or a slouchy jumper nothing too fitted and this one is the beautiful deep green lima knit it's called from meat milk we've got it in a few different colorways and i'm sure we'll be stocking more of it when it gets a little bit colder later in the year so as well as having fabrics that are made with 100 percent viscose or viscose with a bit of elastane in them you also can get viscose fabrics that are blended with other types of fabric so you can get things like a viscose cotton blend we don't have any in stock at the moment otherwise i would show you them and what they feel like is almost like a single gauze so they look they're very lightweight very billowy and they are normally slightly transparent so they're really good for something like a blouse and then you will also have heard me talk a lot about especially in our linen video about the viscose linen blends so viscose linen blends are perfect for warm weather because the linen means that it gives it a nice breathable type fabric it also gives it the classic linen texture but then the viscose content means that it has the lovely drape that is common with viscose so it's really means that it's great for like making yourself dresses skirts or white lead trousers so this is one of our viscose linen fabrics this one is from the new fabric godmother collection we love this one <laughs> it's so beautiful so this is again completely opaque which is perfect and it's still got that lovely drape and movement and what we thought would work wonders with it was the by hand london hannah dress so this comes in two size bands which is perfect it's a lovely wrap dress and it would work perfectly with a viscose linen so with viscose linen they do vary depending on the percentage of viscose to the percentage of linen so the more viscose that is in the fabric the more drape and fluidity that you'll find with it and then obviously the more linen content it will have slightly stiffer and not as much of a drape so that's a good way to work out how sort of drapey a fabric will be from the content um, these is one of our viscose linen slubs and the reason we call it a slub is because it's got the very classic slub like texture that you find with linen these are very lovely and lightweight um, some of the paler colorways are slightly sheer but the other colorways are completely opaque so you don't have to worry about lining them they are have a lovely drape and movement um, because of the linen as well within viscose i should have mentioned they do fray more easily so it's really important that 
your seams are finished properly in order for the garment to last. Now, the new pattern by Tinning the Buttons, the Sky Dress, this one, they used um, one of our viscose linen slubs as a sample you might have seen online. So today we thought it'd be the perfect pairing would be this with the, the, their new sundress. It worked really well and like I said we've got lots of different colours in stock. This is our coral colourway but if coral's not your thing I'm sure one of the other colours will be. So as I mentioned you get viscose fabrics seen in woven fabrics and in knit fabrics. This is one of our knit fabrics and it's one of our bamboo jerseys. So a lot of people don't realise that obviously bamboo jerseys are actually viscose jerseys. It just means that the wood that's been used to make the um, type of fabric is from the bamboo plant. So with the bamboo jerseys they've got really good quality to them. They're lovely and soft. They have a really, really good drape and movement again what's classically seen in a viscose and what's really lovely about them as well is that they have a really good stretch and recovery so they're perfect for making um, jersey tees or you could make um, loose fitted bottoms as well if you wanted a lightweight bottom so we've got such a beautiful range of different bamboo jerseys in stock We've got some darker planes and then we've got some brights like this lovely mint colourway. And one of my favourite patterns to make with them, sorry, is actually two of these, I'm going to show you two patterns. So the Friday Pattern Company, the Adrian blouse, works wonderfully in the viscose bamboo jerseys and also the ebony by closet core patterns so as you can see here you've got the dress version or you've got a top version and both of them would work really well because you need a lovely for both of these patterns you need drapey knit fabrics which is exactly what our bamboo jerseys are this is another knitted fabric that contains viscose fibers so these are our soft knits which we refer to them being soft knits because they've got a lovely brushed finish to them they're lovely and cozy and soft and they're really beautiful to wear because of the nice coziness so again they're not a heavy weight of type of fabric and they still have the nice drape and movement with our soft knits most of them have a little bit of polyester and elastane and then some of them have just viscose and elastane but it's just the way that they've been woven it's like what i'd call like a true knit texture they are really good for like a slouchy jumper or you can make yourself a cardigan. So one of the cardigans we've got in stock is the Jennifer Lauren Juniper cardigan. And I would just advise you to go for like a bit of a slouchy look for it because obviously it has the drape. So you're not gonna go for something too structured. So I've talked about Viscose's main characteristic being drapey. Now this is one of the fabrics that I wouldn't associate with having much of a drape. It's way more structured. So this is a Ponte de Roma. So a Ponte de Roma is an interlock knit. So it's a heavy knit, it's medium to heavy weight. It's got a lot more structure to it. It doesn't have that fluid drape that you would have seen in any of the fabrics I've shown you. But with Ponte de Roma, it normally consists of polyester and elastane. And then sometimes you can find viscose as well. And that makes it just a slightly more higher quality Ponte de Roma. It's got normally a softer finish to it. And it has a really good stretch and recovery. So this type of knit fabric is really good for like a structured knit project. So um, something like um, a structured dress would work really well. Again, you could make also trousers with it that requires a knit fabric. And this is one of our viscose Ponte de Roma fabrics in the beautiful light blue. And we've got lots of different colors in stock and more on the way 
for um, in lots of different lots of different colours in the Ponte di Roma that contains viscose. We picked out today the named patterns. I'm going to say this completely wrong. <laughs> the Talviki sweater. Um, it's really lovely, beautiful sweat shirt pattern. You can see there on the line drawing, the gorgeous little features it's got on it. And a Ponte de Roma, because of it being more structured, lends itself really well for that pattern. And especially the fact that you can sew it up in so many different colorways. So, this ghost in general is drapey, but when it comes to a Ponte de Roma, you will find it way more structured. <laughs> So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you learned a little bit about viscose with me today. Like I said, it's one of my favorite fabrics to sew with. So hopefully by showing you the different types of viscose fabrics we've got in stock and pairing it with some of our paper patterns, it's given you some inspiration to get out your sewing machine and to sew with some viscose fabric. Let me know below which viscose fabric is your favourite to sew with. It would be great to hear from you. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you again for watching. Bye!